what a, a fun home run derby last night, right? I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed it. it I, I, I offer my kudos to those players who said, you know what? Um, it's going to be 100 million degrees, and I'm going to put on my uniform, and I'm going to go uh, try and yank some baseballs out of Dodger Stadium. And uh, if you're Pete Alonso, you're going to start, you know, I guess – Lifting weights in between at bats. Did you see some of that last he's a night? Maniac. There he is in his full <laughs> yeah. Met uniform, and he's incredible. like, he's like squat. He's squatting. He's yeah. swinging and squatting, and uh, and it was just a great mix of young and old. I mean, you've got Albert Pujols there last night, kind of like it. It, it, it was kind of like his daughter's wedding, and everybody's kind of. Uh, going in and asking him for favors in the middle of the wedding. You know, that's what it was kind of like. The only thing that was missing was him, uh, you know, petting a cat while talking to the uh, the undertaker, <laughs> looking for revenge. You know, I mean, he was the godfather, is essentially what I'm saying last night. And um, and you, I just loved how when he was done with his at-bat, everybody came out and surrounded him yeah. and gave him some love. And the only – I'm getting goosebumps talking about this. That It, it just – it, it reminded me, and it's obviously different, but uh, th- this is what it reminded me of, when Ted Williams threw out the ceremonial first pitch of the 1999 All-Star Game in Fenway Park the night of the uh, All-Century team being introduced, uh, Kevin Costner emceeing, I was yep. hosting the ESPN radio coverage standing behind Carlton Fisk who was receiving the first pitch from Ted Williams. And uh, I was standing there with a microphone with goosebumps on my arms. And and as soon as Ted Williams was done throwing that first pitch, every single human being that was introduced from the all-century, all-time team and the current all-stars that were all lined up there in a constant, you know, a constellation of a, of a diamond around Ted Williams, they just converged on Ted. And I remember the public address announcer in Fenway Park essentially saying after two minutes, you know, can we clear the field? Got to play the game. And and that's what last night's moment with Albert Pujols kind of reminded me of. Where everyone knows this could be the last time that he's at an all-star event with a uniform on. You never know with him. And, you know, young and old around Albert Pujols, former teammates. And then a night gets dominated by two of the young stars of the game. With all due respect to the polar bear who got bounced, he got bounced by Julio Rodriguez of your Seattle Mariners. And he's raking. And Juan Soto is raking. And the two of them meet in the final. And it was awesome. Julio Rodriguez of the Seattle Mariners, Dude, okay, kid. 14 straight wins the Mariners have, and then this kid shows up, and he bombs 32 <laughs> out. And I'm thinking to myself, look, I know youth serves, and I know kids don't know what they don't know, but, you know, poor Corey Seager. His dad's throwing to him, and, and Corey Seager's hitting some out, and, and I think he hit like four of his first five out, five of yeah. his first six out, and it wasn't – as you're watching, you're thinking, he's not going fast enough. Right. He's not going to have enough. Like his dad needs to pick up the pace. Well, and, and it's it's like a leisurely nice yeah. moment between father and son. That's great. And they, and they probably... made a big deal about the bat he was using. He was using this really heavy and big bat. You could see him choke up yeah, on it so maybe. he could get some more pop. But he's not moving fast enough. But his enough. dad was just like, hey, we're in the backyard. We're playing catch. It's, it's, some balls. It, it's kind of like, you know, and I, I'm not there yet, um, but I think, you know, dads of college age kids when they show up to college and they start trying to go beer for beer with their kids and their friends and it's just like you you, you can't you're not gonna be able to keep pace i mean you think you got it still and right you know and all of a sudden you're just like <laughs> bed spinning and the other kids are just throwing them back that's what it felt like to me it's like you're not that's you're good. good you still got it you're terrific yeah but you're going against the kid here and Rodriguez finishes second. And by the way, his uh, his prize money for finishing second was $750,000 or $50,000 more than the minimum he's currently making this year. He made more money last night yep. 
in hitting 81 home runs in his three at bats <laughs> than he did than he has than he will all year. Made sense though. He wanted to participate. And that's <laughs> it, right? Exactly. I supplement that income. And, right. then, and then Juan Soto gets a million dollars for winning, or in other words, complete chump change. Of whatever's coming this young man's 439 way. 439 less than what he turned down, I mean, <laughs> reportedly. Chump change. That like, literally stupid. couch cushion money for Juan Soto he made last night. I mean, just, by the way, 53 home runs. Very, very economical. That's all he needed. Yeah. You well, know? he went second a bunch of the I times understand where that. I was like, where you over. just Yeah, you're just over. You don't yeah. have to go first and right. just keep cranking him out and setting a number that no one's going to reach.